What's good, Buffs Nation? So Coach Prime at the Big 12 Media Days had a friendly reminder for everybody. He said that Colorado is measured at a different scale than everybody else. And boy, was he not lying. Because it feels like the haters decided to come out over the last couple of days. We've got some video here we're going to talk about in just a moment. Plus someone, an unlikely defender of what Coach Prime is doing there at Colorado. So let's dive into some of the news here on the prime time of college football and what's happening in the world of Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffalo. So stick around for you can see that unlikely defender. But first and foremost, SEC Media Days is happening this past week. And Paul Feinbaum jumped on first take and he felt the need to make some statements. Him and Heather Dinich kind of shocked me that they felt the need to really go after Prime the way they did. Because ain't no way they really believe everything they're saying without the context, right? They're typically solid when it comes to context, but man, they went all over it. So let's hear first what Heather had to say. We'll address that. We'll listen to Feinbaum, address that, and then we'll jump right into the big defender, Robert Griffin III, at the end. Well, I'm glad you said the word eventually because it's going to take a while. Certainly not going to happen this year. This year, they're not even a contender, in my opinion, for the Big 12 Conference because they've got so many issues. And I think it's going to take a while because let's start with the transfer portal. 41 players in, I want to say, more than any other team in the FBS. 53 players out. Look, how are you developing chemistry within your team, within your locker room, when you have have that much of just disarray in terms of your roster. And then you've got the on-field issues, right? 52 sacks on Shadur Sanders, 124th in the nation in scoring defense. I mean, there are real issues on both sides of the ball that they have to fix. And to me, that just doesn't happen overnight. I got to talk about that, right? So she made some great points there. Colorado has dealt with a lot of, um, you know, Turnover, Shadur was sacked a bunch, but that's kind of why Colorado went in the portal. That was the whole thing that Coach Prime even preached about. The whole point of hitting the transfer portal the way they did was to address all of those problems. They went after offensive linemen. They went after defensive linemen, secondary players, linebackers. They went after every single position to fix a team that's coming from a 1-11 record to now a 4-8 record. The whole goal is to progress through. And I thought it was fascinating that they threw out all the negatives about everything they did, but didn't even recognize anything potentially positive that Coach Prime is doing there. Kind of throws your boy off here, right? I get it. I know. The big thing we talked about here on this channel, Coach Prime leads to clicks. And that's the reason why so many people dive on his back so much is that it's click opportunities it's opportunity to get people to click on it and watch the video get some ads or whatnot i mean we talk about him here because one we are excited about what prime is doing and we want to see if he can continue to be successful but at the same time y'all enjoy this content so we're putting it out there but it's crazy to me that all they're throwing out is all the negatives and not trying to see the brighter side of what prime was doing he set up a lot of those players to go to some great spots I got a video on Dylan Edwards talking about why he left Colorado and it's pretty heartwarming to be absolutely honest. We'll look at that in another video. Actually, I'll make sure to put that out on Friday. So keep your eyes open on that. But the big thing is here, he's got these transfers because he's specifically trying to rebuild this program. He's trying to build this up program to be a competitor immediately, especially because they've already got the quarterback. But now because, you know, with all of that, Let's see what our boy Paul Feinbaum had to say. Y'all know he's the um, SEC home everybody calls him. Let's see what you to think about it. Yeah, let me let me piggyback on that for a second. Uh, anyone asking whether Deion Sanders and Colorado are close to the playoffs simply doesn't understand the reality of the road. They're, they're not going to the playoffs this year. And I'm not sure... Deion Sanders is ever going to get them to the playoffs because I don't think he has the patience to stay at Colorado long enough. There, there's so many misconceptions out there. Deion Sanders is the best salesman I've ever seen. I, I, I personally love the guy and for what he stands for. But the program 
looking out has, has a ridiculously inflated view of itself. I heard Shador Sanders, who's a fabulous quarterback, say last week, we are everyone's Super Bowl. Shador, you are not. You are an easy win nowadays. You got off to a phenomenal start last year, beating a couple of mediocre teams that had big names. And, and quite frankly, you haven't done anything since other than crash and burn. So I know that the media loves this story. We fall all over ourselves. But Colorado isn't important in college football. Deion Sanders is. Uh, he's a standalone person. He's, he's one of the most charismatic people we've ever seen. Uh, but Colorado is nothing. They don't matter. Uh, they're irrelevant in the big picture of college football. So does Paul Feinbaum not understand that that's kind of the point of Coach Prime and what they're doing here? So, I mean, of course, yes, yeah, Shadour did say that, you know, I know we're every Wadi Super Bowl. And you'll hear in just a moment when RG3 talks about this, but the bigger reason why is, yes, everyone knows that they're going to get attention by beating Colorado. So if you want to call them a loser program, sure, go right ahead. They'll just prove you wrong. But the thing with that is, is that, yeah, Teams want the opportunity to get attention that they're getting. Coach Prime brings in relevance. They're not irrelevant. They're, this program is very much relevant. They're stealing five stars from other programs that other programs thought they were going to get. They're starting off small, and that's going to snowball as long as he's continuing to build success as well as go after some key players that are going to know that they have an opportunity to do big things here at Colorado, right? Once you start seeing more come in, it's going to continue to follow. And then they have to just continue to be successful. So this year is going to be a banner year for what the Buffs are doing. But if Coach Prime goes out there and they win a few games, who's going to push back on going to Colorado? Like, yes, Shadur is spot on here. Like, I, I've talked about it here. Shadur is spot on on the fact that this is definitely a lot of team Super Bowl seeing Colorado because what Colorado is, it's just, it's, it's, it's massive to the media game. It's massive to college football because it's bringing a lot of attention to a program that hasn't had the attention in a long time. I mean, they haven't won a conference championship in a bit. And that's why I said, we had a good defender here. RG3, let's see what he had to say. Shay, to answer your question, I think it depends on how long Deion Sanders stays at Colorado. If he's there for five years, I think he will eventually get them to the college football playoff. Now, to address some of that ether that Paul Feinbaum just directed at Deion Sanders. Colorado is everybody's Super Bowl. The reason he, that they are the Super Bowl is because all eyes are on them. I still remember Dan Lanning telling his locker room that Colorado was there for clicks and they're there for wins, right? They knew that they went out there with a vengeance and they did blow them out, but they played harder in that game than they played in any other game of the season. So if Shadur in his mind is saying that, hey, Colorado is everyone's Super Bowl because they think they're so great, I can kind of see where Paul is going. But he's saying in the sense of everyone wants to beat them into the ground because they do have the number one quarterback in the nation. And they do have the number one wide receiver and, and cornerback in the nation in Travis Hunter. And they do have the biggest personality at the head coach position in Deion Sanders. So, Paul, yes, people do know Deion. But it's also because he is a great coach and he's a Hall of Fame corner. But you know his players and what he is doing in the portal is bringing in guys that have a like mindset to him and what he wants to accomplish. He is trying to find the right guys from the past 10 years of terrible recruiting that Colorado has had. And I believe if he can get Colorado to the college football playoff, it will be a great thing for college football, not just for the eyes but also being able to take a program and take them to new heights. Colorado has not won a conference championship since before Shadur Sanders was born. They are... See what I'm saying? RG3 gave some great analysis and breakdown of the fact of that's what Prime is trying to do. And the reason why they're so relevant, yes, it's because of Coach Prime, but you can't forget, got one of the top quarterbacks in college football, if not the top. They got one of the top two-way players. A two-way player we have not seen since, what, Charles Woodson? Name me another player that we've seen go two-way and be really good at it for multiple years. We haven't seen that in so long. And so because Shador Sanders 
and Travis Hunter has wowed us so much. They're getting all that attention. Yes, they went four and eight. They did not have all the pieces and components to, you know, be super successful. But that's not from a lack of trying. We all know they've got work to do. Now, Travis Hunter felt the need to, you know, kind of dog on his offensive line. He's got to do a little better job on that. Did that play in the video game, but I digress. One of the things that we know that they're doing here is not only building men. RG3 talks about that a little bit later in the clip. I'll put the link in the description below. But he also talks about how what Colorado wants to do as an institution, as a program, building up these men to where they can be successful off the field. We all know that's Prime's goal. That's kind of, that's what he always talks about. He preaches that constantly. So as long as he continues that pureness of that, they'll be just fine. But I'll tell you this. All this hate going to keep coming in line, man. Jay Norvell has some stuff to say. We ain't going to even address him, man. He ain't worth our time. But we do understand that, you know, that rivalry is going to be nice this coming season. And so I know that all of the the expectations of the like lines and predictions and stuff for the season will be coming very soon. So we'll keep our eyes open for that. But y'all do me a favor. Hop in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about Fine Bomb, Heather, as well as RG3's thoughts. Think they're a little offline? Do you think that they're just... Being haters, is RG3 right? Talk to me. Or is RG3 sunshine pumping? We would love to hear from you all in this conversation. All right, my last videos that we had going up not too long ago, make sure y'all check it out up here. And please, subscribe. Join the family. We'll have more content coming down the line. The season's getting close to us, and a lot more news will be coming up. So, yeah, we'll talk about it.